What's up, guys? Baker here. Back with the next episode of this uh, little OCE breakdown. Uh, Stam at Corey, part two, basically. And I uh, left you off with uh, just Twixtring where he jumps off and then uh, he shoots and stuff. And um, uh, next step I want to do is actually just uh, get some data from the song so I can use it for some uh, for some later stuff. So we'll go ahead and uh, just turn these off. Make sure. Uh, well, you can have it on. Just make sure the audio isn't selected. And uh, I'm just gonna make my uh, comp or my work area. I don't know how long I'll need it. Not very long, probably just like that. Um, I'm gonna right click and um, keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes. And I already have a tutorial on this. If you haven't seen this before, um, just. Uh, Go check out my audio synced flashing, and uh, that's basically what we're doing here. So I'm going to rename this data for flashing, and I'm going to duplicate it, and then call this one data for Twixter. All right, so um, let's just go ahead and do that really quick. I'm just going to go to the graph editor, and uh, I want to should have done. Delete, delete the Twixter one. Go to the song and let's add some bass and treble. So, kind of like in my old tutorial, I'm just kind of getting rid of the uh, high end, keeping the bass, and then uh, you'll get some different data for that. So, we'll go ahead and uh, delete that effect and the left and right channel, blah, blah, blah. If you've uh, been following my channel for a while, you sh this should all be, you know, um, you you've seen all this before. So, data for twixting, twixtering. Let's take a look really quick. So, for the flashing, um, this looks like, like a good area. Make some room here. Hmm, I probably want to do about 15 to 20. So, okay, so that's good. So, Alt click and uh, linear value. 15 to 20, 0, 100. You should know this by now. If not, again, go check out my tutorial. Guys are slacking or something if you don't know this already because this is sweet stuff. And uh, I'll leave the Twixter for now. Um, you'll see why later. But, <clears throat> okay. So uh, let's close that. And um, darn it, I don't have the color correction ready. Oh my god. Well, I better not finish this whole thing right now then. Uh, save it for episode three. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I just uh, got home from work and just felt like doing this tutorial and then, you know, I'm, I'm not on top of my game. Anyway, car jump. Let's go ahead and put that in its own comp. Um, just scale it up. One. And I have this for download um, if you want it. It's uh, my cinematics pack download thingy. People thought this was a butterfly. It's not it, but it looks cool. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, twix to this inside of this comp, and uh, set up the frame weights, flame, flame weights, picture flame, and then when he's jumping right about here, I want to make it uh, slow motion. Oops, ten percent. So good this looks. So maybe half. Zoom to fit and just kind of roughly scrub through this. That looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I won't go through the whole thing, but back to main comp. Let's see if we can uh, bring this out. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is um, when the main clip comes on, all right, so the main clip and he's running right here. I want this to be on the side as he's jumping. So, what I'm going to do is add a linear wipe onto the card jump and then uh, transition completion. So yeah, we're gonna go this way. I want to kind of tilt it just a little bit. Probably like that. Put it back up to full. We want to see this. And um, let's see. Probably, I could probably scoot it over a little bit more. Maybe like that. And uh, I'll probably just scoot the entire layer over too. Because what I want to do is actually preserve most of the uh, the original clip when he's running. So you can actually see that. I just kind of want this to be on the side, you know. 
So let's see here. So I'll just uh, scoot this over. So he's jumping off. So I'll just trim this. There we go. So he's running. And this comes up and he's jumping and it's twixtered and it's like meow. And when he jumps or he's spinning right here, I want this to go away. So, so let's animate this. So we'll animate it in. So maybe half a second into it. Probably less than that. But we can always change it later. So uh, transition completion. Um, which will probably make this feather too. I'm just all over the place. 10, 20. 25, whatever. So transition completion, hit a keyframe, stopwatch, move backwards. Um, oh, I remember what I did. I made it white from top to bottom, so delete that keyframe. What we're gonna do is go back to here, add another linear wipe, and make this up and down. So zero for the wipe angle, I believe. It's gonna wipe down like this. See that? So, so have it at zero, keyframe, go backwards, and then keyframe it up to 100. So it will be running, and then this will wipe down like this. And it probably needs to be pretty fast. I don't really want to like roll out, you know? Just make it really fast so it's like And now uh, you can probably feather that one too, but again, it's gonna be so fast, you probably won't even see it, so. <clears throat> and then, uh, so again, when he jumps, or <coughs> when he's spinning, I want this to go away. So uh, keyframe, move forward, and just set it back up to 100. Go away. All right, so what we did here is just line this up so it comes in. And yeah. All right, so let's go over all those effects. So if I have my example, I probably should have had this ready too, huh? I am just not on top of my game right now. But it's okay, because hopefully you guys will just, uh, you know, hang in with me. And apparently it is not opening very fast, so I don't know. And I guess I'll open it. I'm just going to not do it. Spam OCE Quarry 2. Yes. Hmm, so while we're waiting, why don't you just leave a comment really quick and tell me, uh, how was your day? Are you excited for Thanksgiving? Or wait, you're probably watching this after Thanksgiving. I don't even know. I'm recording this before Thanksgiving, so whatever it is, just tell me, you know, what's up? What's up, guys? And, um, I was really hoping I can, you know, <sighs> come on. You know what? I'm just gonna forget it. I think. Alright, so what I had here is I had a bunch of warps and some grid effects and some twitch and stuff, I believe. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna make a new solid. Shouldn't matter what color. And I'm getting the Rainbow Wheel of Death. Come on, this is embarrassing. Alright, so I'll call this a uh, grid. One, and we'll add a grid. And my grid one was uh, let's see, no, let's see, no, let's see. No. I think it was just, just that I guess. Now let's go to width and height sliders. So we get um, we get some tiny ones. Let me just double check really quick. Yeah, so we get some tiny ones, and then, oh, just kidding. We're going to set this up to twice that, so 64 by 48, and we want these to be thick, so these will be, uh, border will be 10, so that's cool, and we're going to set the transfer mode to overlay, okay, and then what I used is a CC light sweep. CC light sweep. And what that does, is if I solo this, uh, nothing right now. But if the light reception is set to cutout, we just get a cool looking cutout. So you can uh, play with the little, little settings, but I don't really want to mess with it right now. 
what I'm just going to do is um, I'm going to trim this. Uh, so that's when the guy is jumping. Maybe I should go back down to quarter, I guess. Um, let me just check my shit. Settings. Let's see the width. I guess I used 150. It's with that. Okay, so that gives it a thicker width. Um, sweep intensity 25. Edge intensity 50. Edge thickness 4. Okay, so you can uh, change the intensity of the edges accordingly. Edge thickness. Just some random, random things. But basically, you just want to have like a little cutout thingy. And uh, just have the sweep from you know one side to another. So I'll just move this over to the left. Keyframe, move forward, and just slide this across the screen. And I'm actually going to duplicate that. And then the grid, I'll call this grid two. We're going to change a little bit of the settings. So the grid is going to go back to um, the 32, 24, and border is five. So we get the uh, tiny grid. Okay. And um, this one, we actually want the direction. So I'll delete those keyframes. Let's just rotate it. You can kind of see, just kind of rotate it the other way. And then uh, you know, have it come from like top to bottom or something. So keyframe that and uh, move forward and keyframe it down. So basically what we get is like kind of like an analyzing, get some grid bars, just kind of, you know, going across the screen. And uh, the different sizes make it kind of random. I thought it looks pretty cool. Both set to overlay, so they're just kind of, uh, you know, just kind of going across the screen. I mean, it's not too overpowering or like crazy. It's just like analyzing and stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do next is um, let's see. Do I have enough time to go over the expressions? One minute thirty eight seconds. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't look like I'm going very fast with these tutorials. Maybe, let's see. So in the intro, he's running. I'm going to cut it where he is just running right here. Just right there. And cut, trim. If you don't know all these shortcuts, I also have a tutorial on shortcuts and my uh, stuff. You know, I have a lot of tutorials that uh, people ask me to do that I've already done. So. I would suggest actually looking at my old tutorials, and uh, I do have a lot of good stuff. So, just want to throw that out there. Um, let's go ahead and just put a film burn overlapping that. So, just kind of what I want to do is right where the uh, the clip cuts from the the beginning intro to this. I want to have like a find a flash in the uh, right there. That looks good. Flash in the film burn. So set to add, right click, transform, fit to comp. So, you know, we get some cool stuff. Flying in, it'll flash, and we'll just like switch to that. Okay. Um, another thing, really quick. This intro thingy, the intro with the text, remember that? What I want to do is actually go to the end of the intro thing, push S for scale, set a keyframe. Move backwards, I don't know how far back yet or not, but just scale this up to like, oh, there's my timer. Maybe like 115. So it'll slowly zoom out, and it just gives a little bit of more style, I think. And, uh, what not. But um, that's about it for now. Uh, I'm going to try to record another tutorial. I'll get the color correction down, don't worry. But um, till then, see you next time, guys.